There are many dangerous drugs and substances in the Star Wars universe, obviously Spice being among the most popular, as well as the famous Death Sticks featured in Attack of the Clones. There was one substance though that was introduced in Legends continuity that proved far more of a threat to a Jedi than any other, a substance coveted by individuals that wanted to face Jedi in combat, one that would give them a massive edge, and a substance desired by many underground criminal organizations, a substance on the black market referred to as Jedi Mind Juice. No, this video is not a joke. That is a real thing in Star Wars Legends. So what exactly did Jedi Mind Juice do? Jedi Mind Juice was a drug that could actually cause an individual to not be influenced by the Force itself, meaning that if a Jedi tried to use the Force on someone that had just taken the substance, it would be ineffective. This is why it was so popular in the criminal underground, and why any criminal that was expecting to encounter a Jedi would want to take it. Obviously, Jedi Mind Juice was very expensive, and today we will discuss how it was developed. Jedi Mind Juice was developed by the animal known as the Cochlera. The Cochlera were a floating jellyfish-like species native to the storm energy atmosphere of the planet Jinaris. Though a hardy species, it seemed the Cochlera could only survive in the skies of their home world which had led scientists to believe that unique gases and other factors led to the creatures living on their homeworld specifically. Several of the creatures were transplanted to other gas giants. However, all of them died in a matter of just days. Their central body was a near-transparent sac-shaped organ and contained a type of fluid and had constant discharges of electricity. Beneath this body were six appendages of different lengths that could be used to defend the beast from harm. This was done through a discharge the creature was capable of making, which had a similar effect of an ion blaster. Being transparent, they could easily go undetected until they crashed into a starship. Or worse, they burned because they approached too close to an engine. The creatures were extremely vulnerable and were therefore difficult to capture and study. After the Battle of Naboo, it was discovered that the fluids that made up the body of a Cochlera and that were secreted when the Cochlera was scared contained a pale ichor and could be used to provide an immunity from the Force itself. Though the benefits were unproven, the ichor became known as Jedi Mind Juice. This discovery led to many criminal groups actively engaging in illegal hunts for the beasts. These Cochlera would be captured, and their fluids would be drained from them. As was expected, these hunts were often kept secret, and rumors were spread about the dangers of these gentle beasts in order to hide the criminal operations that captured them. Although the process of extracting the juices was extremely dangerous and rare, not to mention that many of the effects of Jedi mind juice were not proven, and in many circles they believed that it was ineffective against Jedi if they wanted to use the force more aggressively, only providing a slight barrier. However, there were other criminal organizations that would swear by it, swearing that it completely nullified a Jedi's ability to use the Force. Anyway, my friends, what are your thoughts on this? And what are your thoughts on the Jedi Mind Juice and the creatures responsible for its production? Had you heard of Jedi Mind Juice before this video? As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. May the Force be with you and have a great day.